this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to work the brim of the beach cake bag. So essentially what we're going to be doing with the brim is knitting a couple inches of it and then folding it over and knitting the original cast on edge together with the work that's done on needles to create um, kind of like a tunnel shape. And our strap is going to sit inside of the tunnel and it's going to allow us to cinch the bag close and then pull it open. So to begin working this tunnel, the first thing we have to do is join in the round. We're going to pass one stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle. And then we're going to take that original stitch that was the last stitch of the right hand needle and we're going to pass it over the new first stitch and off the needle. Then you can kind of pull on your yarn on your tail and your working yarn and it'll kind of close things up and get things nice and tight. So once we do that, we're going to take a removable stitch marker and we're going to slip that onto our very first stitch. Onto the stitch. And then we're going to take a beginning of round marker, slip it onto the right hand needle. This um, removable marker is going to keep the stitch mark so that whenever we're ready to join the cast on edge with um, the, the working stitches on our needles, we'll be able to identify where the first stitch is that we need to take up. So now I'm ready to work the first stockinette rows of the pattern. Okay, I've knit my stockinette rows and now I am working row nine. Row nine instructs us to knit 17, which I did, I've knit 17. And now I'm ready for the next instruction, which says to pass the second stitch on your right hand needle up and over the first stitch and off the needle. Just like that. And that is going to create the hole for one of your straps to go through. So now we're going to knit 30 more. And now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to pass that second stitch up and over the first stitch and off the needle. And there's the second hole. Now we're going to knit 13 to the end of the round. We're now on the next row, which instructs us to knit 15. And then we're going to cast one on using the backwards loop cast on method. And the backwards loop cast on method is performed by holding the working yarn in your left hand. You're going to take your index finger and go underneath it and hold it just like that. And now you're going to take your left hand needle and you're going to go behind this front piece of yarn and you're going to pick it up and just let the yarn fall down onto the needle and it makes a loop just like that. You can bring your yarn around to the back and continue knitting. I've now come to the second hole and I'm going to do the same thing. Pick up the working yarn with my left hand and I'm going to take my index finger underneath it Take the right hand needle back behind this front piece of yarn and just slip it onto the needle and it makes my second loop. Now you can um, finish creating the brim and the next video will instruct you on how to join your brim to make the tunnel for your strap.